what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on a very important quality which is required for healthy relationships and when i say relationships i do not mean a boy and a girl it can be between a mother and the son a brother and a sister any human relationship which we cherish it can be with our father with our mother or with our spouse or with our child or with our best friends or with acquaintances or with anybody that we want to develop a relationship with welcome back to exotic astrology again and if you're new to the channel then subscribe to it if you want a consultation from me then please message me in whatsapp or in my email id and if you're new to the channel then subscribe to it and like this video and if you are interested in doing some donation, then the link to PayPal is there below. You can go and donate or else continue watching this video. Today, what I'm going to discuss is because it is a Friday, I thought, why not discuss on the exaltation sign of Venus? Because Friday is the day of Venus. <laughs> and everybody is interested to know about Venus, about love, romance, relationships. That is why today is the perfect day because today is also the starting of the Kartik month in the calendar of the Hindus which is a very auspicious month for doing practices related to Lord Krishna especially. Now which sign does Venus get exalted? If you do not know what is exaltation signs then go back to the video on astrology basics in that i have made a video on an exalted venus uh, it is there in the playlist exaltation of planets and exaltation simply means that the sign where the planet feels the greatest sense of com contentment greatest sense of happiness greatest sense of pleasure and it reaches its highest conclusive fulfillment which it actually is supposed to give you should i repeat which it is actually supposed to give you that which ultimately the planet is responsible to give you therefore for venus which is the planet of love romance relationships the spouse in a man's chart uh, in a anybody's chart that planet gets exalted in the sign of Pisces which is the original 12th house of the zodiac which represents spirituality, moksha, giving up of things, letting go of things, letting go, does it sound familiar? <laughs> the question is Venus which is the planet of love, romance, sexuality, why does, why in the universe does it get exalted in Jupiter's sign? <laughs> Many people are confused about this question. If you search in Google or if you search in the internet, why does Venus reach its highest exaltation in Pisces in 28 degrees of Revati Nakshatra in the fourth Pada? Well, you will get all the kinds of answers like 12th house is the house of bad pleasures for Venus. In Pisces means you will have a lot of sexual experiences. You will be very happy in matters of bad pleasures you will be very happy in matters of intimacy it is all crap let me tell you it has nothing to do with sexuality venus in pisces has simply nothing to do with sexuality if it had to do then it would be exalted in the sign of libra or scorpio because these are the signs which represent sexuality and yes venus has his mool tricon sign which is the next best sign for any planet to be in, in the sign of Libra, which means to say that there is no doubt that Venus likes to be in Libra, which represents sexual encounters, which represents marriage, union, partnership, being with people, being with somebody. There is no doubt about it. But the question is, does it reach its highest fulfillment there? No. For heaven's sake, please do not tell that it reaches exaltation there. Do not make Pisces about Libra. It has nothing to do with Libra. In fact, it is perhaps the sign which has nothing at all to do with Libra because Pisces is 
in the sixth house from Libra, right? So Libra and Pisces do not get along together. <laughs> because Libra says, be with people. Pisces says, let go of things. Yes. So there you see, the planet, the signs are not placed well from each other. Because Libra says, indulge in relationships, sexuality, affairs, marriage. Pisces says, no, go towards spirituality. <laughs> so imagine the dynamics of this planet the sign where it reaches multricone and the sign where it reaches exaltation they are in conflict perhaps venus is the only planet or maybe there are other planets but this is a very this is a very peculiar state of venus <laughs> that means that what venus ultimately is supposed to give us that which it is supposed to ultimately offer us is not possible in Libra. It is only possible in the sign of Pisces. All right. That means Venus, which represents relationships. Whenever we try to get into a relationship or we are already in a relationship or we want to develop a connection with somebody, maybe with another, another person or with a friend or whoever it is, we have to be more cautious about the Pisces energy than the Libra energy because Libra is the sign of balance and compatibility. Pisces is the sign of letting go of things, of letting the person the way they are. So that means when you are in a relationship with somebody or a friend or your son or your daughter or whoever they are, instead of trying to make things compatible instead of trying to balance out things if you can give the person the liberty the freedom to be who they are and not force them to be whom they want whom you want them to be then your relationship will improve it will go sky high because the opposite of Pisces, which is Virgo, is the debilitation sign for Venus. What is Virgo? Virgo is the sign of expectations. Virgo is the sign of expecting somebody the way you want them to be. That is the sign of Virgo. Okay. So that means the Virgo energy is not conducive for relationships. And the problem is the more you are close to a person, the more you expect them to be what you want them to be. So I repeat. The more you are close to a person, the more you expect them to be what you want them to be. Not what they want themselves to be, but what you want them to be. And this energy is not conducive for relationships. This will create havoc within the relationship. Even if you are a mother and you try to control your son. Now, I am not saying discipline is wrong. For a parent, it is very important to discipline the child. But I hope you understand not to control the child. For example, he or she wants to do certain things as per her creativity or as per their interest. You should not try to become a stumbling block. In fact, you should appreciate that nature, which most of the parents do without any doubt. But whenever we are into relationship in a, as a partner with somebody in marriage or within a relationship, then I have seen people telling me that, he is not how I want to be. I want him. I want my ideal person to be. Or she is not the way I was expecting. See, then comes the problem. Because when you are doing that, you are telling the other person that I do not like the way you are. I want you to change. I want you to be like who I want you to be. And if that happens for a long time, the relationship cannot sustain. Because the expectations will ultimately kill the relationship. It will completely overthrow the person because the person will be forced to behave in a way which is not natural for them. That means the person will not be able to be themselves for a long time. They will pretend to be somebody else for some time and then after some time they will say, I'm sorry, I can't pretend anymore. That means we have to give space to the person and let them be themselves and not them and not force them to be the way we want them to be all right that is it from my side if you like this video then like click the like button and subscribe to the channel 
and if you want a consultation then contact me in my email and if you want to do some donation you can go to the link to paypal and do and share this video with anybody who you know who is struggling with any sort of relationship either it is with a partner or with the mother or with the father or with the friend or even with your boss <laughs> all right that is it from my side wish you all the best good luck bye bye